right, Dinwiddie and I are back. He's over on a hole. We actually have a structure this time. We never have structures. Anyways, haven't been here real long. I think this is my second target, and I got something crazy. What the heck is that? Definitely see a woman's face. You know what? I'm going to clean this up just a little bit. Hold on. Yeah, I have no clue what this is. Look at that fancy face on there. I don't know, like a... It's not heavy. Like, it's got to be like aluminum or tan or something. So, so on the back of this, it says sterling top. Oh, Dinwiddie's. Dinwiddie's all fired up. Just because I got silver on my second freaking hole. So sterling top. So I think it's really light because it's just like, it's like a thin, almost aluminum piece of sterling. And then it's just over whatever this junk stuff is. How cool. That was coming up a 15. See, you can dig silver at a 15. I got a coin. What do we got? I think it's just clad. Dang. Boy, that sure sounded good. <laughs> but I'm a quarter richer. Well, I got some sort of old relic here. What do we got? I imagine that's an old sheep tag is what that I think that is. Cool thing is... We got a name on here. H. Claremont, Ronan, Montana. Well, watch out, Travis. Be after you. Yeah? Why is that? Travis Claremont. Oh! <laughs> yeah, we got a detecting buddy with the last name Claremont. He'll be super upset that I swoop this on him. Let me open this sucker up. I think I got more writing in here. Looks like it was made by Inner Mountain Stamp Works, Salt Lake City, Utah. I don't know for sure, but I'm pretty sure that's a that's an old cheap tag. I think I just popped a big old brass buckle. Oh yeah, it's a nice one. Yeah, I'm not sure what the heck that is. Definitely looks fancy, like it was some sort of jewelry or some sort of adornment. I got a penny. Looks like a stinking zinkin. Look at that, kid's got a spoon. It's not a great spoon, but that's a spoon. That's part of a spoon. <laughs> Ah, oh, I think I got a good one. Let's see what we got. Some sort of coin. It's a Merc. Take me a little Merc. All right, looks like it's gonna be a 1917S. Man, getting silver always feels so good. Ready, Dinwiddie? anybody has got some fancy. Uh, looks like it's broke off of something. I don't know. Yeah. Under a cabinet or something, maybe? Almost looks like it's got crosses on it. Oh, yeah. Is that like a butterfly? I don't know. It's pretty Interesting. Neat. Man, this is the homestead that just keeps on giving. They got more silver. Oh, dang. It's a barber. Sweet, man. How cool. I'm not going to rub it up too much, but uh, I think that said 1912 is what I thought I saw it say. Yeah, how pretty is that? It is a 1912. Awesome. That's three silvers in one sight. Awesome. Well, Dinwiddie got himself a 
harmonica reed. It's a little rounded on the edges, a little different. Sweet, man. Well, that looks like the back of a pocket watch. I can't remember what this is exactly, but I'm pretty sure this is off a of Model T. I'll ask Dinwiddie, I think he remembers. Radiator cap, there you go. Oh, it's something off a of Model T. There's a little spoon bowl. Did finally get a little two-hole button here. I haven't got a lot of hardware today. It's been kind of weird. Usually you get some suspender clips and stuff. Hey, I think I got a bowl or something. Yeah. Check that out. That's cool. I don't get those very often. A couple times a year. So I'm pretty sure that's uh, the top part to a harmonica. And the reeds would go in there. And you never find that part. At least I never do. Ah, oh, there it is. Got me a nice little buckle piece. Yeah, I love getting relics. So I had a nice high tone, and I see something around. What is it? I guess it's going to be a real nice uh, four-hole button. Yeah, that's exactly what it's going to be. I'll brush it up. I don't think anything's going to be on it, though. Well, it actually does have a little writing on there, but... I don't think I'm going to be able to make it out. This thing's kind of crusty. Let's keep going. I don't know what I got here, but it was a ring and a 20. And from the back side, I'm thinking this is jewelry. I have not seen it yet. What is it? Is that a cat? <laughs> I think it's a cat. I don't know. It's weird. Whatever it is, it ain't super pretty. Huh. Clean it up a little. So my best guess is a cat playing a banjo, but it actually kind of looks like it's a cat wearing those glasses that have the big nose on them. So I don't know, this thing's weird. It could be anything. Bunny. What do you guys think that is? Dang, there's some money at this site. We got this time. This time it's a weedy. Let's see if I can get a year. I'm thinking 1928. So there's a little two hole button. Looks like it has some stars on it. And it sounded so good. I really thought that was going to be. A uh, coin. Definitely getting a lot of buttons all of a sudden. Nice wood splitter. Well, there's a little fancy. That looks like a little drawer pull. Look at that. Found me a wagon wheel. I cannot believe this. If this is what I think it is, I have never done this before. Ugh. I think I just got a sterling thimble. <laughs> oh, 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 man. Yeah, you know, let me clean it up a little. I think it's monogrammed and everything. So there's a marking in the top underneath, which I can't see right now. And it is monogrammed. Sorry about my dog's heavy breathing. Jeez. Go on. Yeah, so this is my first ever sterling thimble. Man, I'm so freaking jacked. I can't believe it. This sounded horrible. I must have been catching an edge. And then as soon as I flipped the dirt, all of a sudden it started sounding like a silver dime. And the thing that's crazy about it is, Dinwiddie and I both have walked over this exact spot. Both of us. Just shows you sometimes you suck. I had this little 18, which kind of turned into a 20. Definitely some jewelry. Um, yeah, I know somebody knows what that symbol is. I wonder if this is silver. Let me clean her up. 
yeah this has got to be some sort of pin for some organization i think this is like a maple leaf and then on each point there's a letter like i think this is an e and up there's an m in the middle kind of looks like a pentagram or something it's a little rubbed off though so i just can't quite make everything out one of you guys got to know what organization that's from throw it down in the comments help a guy out well, this is kind of a nice little button this yeah. is definitely a w what does that say it says something i can't read it chicago paris <laughs> cool dinwiddy and i were just talking about how i haven't got a suspender out of this site yet oh and it's a shirley president even one of my favorites and i don't think i have this model dang man i just love getting relics yeah seems like every one of these sites you gotta dig a clock right this is too much freaking fun i just got another suspender Let's see what we got that I think it's a kite yeah I think <laughs> I think there's a kite on that suspender clip or it's a flower maybe it's a flower like a big tulip I don't know kite or a tulip that's my guess hopefully this focus for you guys so you can help me out here well, I hope you enjoyed that hunt as much as I did. So, those were after work hunts. I strung a couple of nights together. Same spot, though. Um, man, this just really exceeded my expectations. I mean, to get four silvers out of one of these old sites. I mean, these people are usually pretty poor. Didn't have a lot. Just awesome. Um, there's probably a little more work left to do here. But... That'll either be another episode or I don't know if I find another site between now and then. Because we're getting kind of close to winter. And once the ground is frozen, this is all over for the year. So just trying to jam out what I can. Anyways, hope you enjoyed it. See you on the next one.